Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Media Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, Wrestling News from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage. And special episodes from Rodin' Up, Cyber Swaggin', and the Philosophies of Lima Cleese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring, and mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV Channel 77. And now here's the host of the show, live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, for that lovely intro. That's right. This is your friendly neighborhood, Bumbling Bofa Raver. And you are, and also the five-time, five-time, five-time Bumbling Bozos. Bozy Awards nominee, Eric Lima here, coming at you with a channel that could be a, a, a candidate in the future for a Bozy Award nomination. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and it's me, Eric Lima, your host. What's going on, everybody? It's episode 958 of the show. Now, last night, I ended up after... Talk, uh, talking to the guys over at Rant and Rave. I ended up watching Impact Wrestling last night on the computer. Thank God. They got streaming sites. You can watch it. If you miss any of the wrestling, I think we'd be Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW, NXT UK, and Impact Wrestling. You go to a website where they watch some streaming. So, Josh Alexander kicks off Impact and dresses no surrender. He's very proud to be part of Impact for the last three years, but he says he wants a world title shot. He says he wants the winner of the Moose Morrissey matchup because he didn't get his rematch. So, anyways, but Big Con interrupted him after Josh Alexander issued a challenge. Josh Alexander beat Big Con. If you don't know who Big Con is, Big Con is Connor of the Ascension in the WWE. And Josh Alexander beat him in short time flat. And then, as uh, Josh Alexander um, got the ankle lock on him and wouldn't relinquish the hold, security tries to calm him down. Josh Alexander attacks him, and Scott Diamore tried to stop Alexander, but he got shoved to the ground. Alexander says he wants his title shot, or or he, you know, or Impact's not going to have him. And Scott Diamore says, "Guess what? Go home." A lot of people didn't like that decision at all. He says, you're out of the matchup. He says, you're out of, of the matchup at No Surrender against Honor No More. So, and then Steve Macklin got wind of this after what happened to him last week. He says, listen, I want revenge on Honor No More. Let me be part of Team Impact because you're not a popular guy here right now. But we'll see, we'll see. Then the title open challenge, Deanna Perazzo issued that open challenge, and Santana Garrett accepted that challenge. It will be for the Ring of Honor Championship, in which it was a heck of a matchup, but Perazzo did retain the title over the veteran. And then Team Impact was upset, which got them more having kicked Josh, Ma uh, Josh Alexander out of Team Impact. He says, listen, listen, you gotta pick up something, I, you know, and we're thinking about J John Gresham. But he says, after after our matchup, we'll talk to, to John Gresham. And uh, so so there's that. Mickey James went one-on-one -on -one with Chelsea Green. Uh, it was a friendly matchup. Tasha Steele joined, along with Savannah Evans, joined Tom Hennepin and Matt Raywall on commentary. And then Tasha Steele and Savannah Evans got involved with uh, throwing trash in the ring and all that. Um, attacked, attacked Chelsea Green, getting Mickey disqualified and giving Chelsea Green the victory. And then they ruined the matchup. Mickey James chased him off, helped up Chelsea Green, gave her a hug. And that will lead to a tag match next week 
when Mickey James and Chelsea Green joined forces against uh, Tasha Steeles and Savannah Evans. And Gia Miller interviewed, uh, interviewed uh, Boop Hinder and Gujar, and he says, it's my lifelong dream to be here on Impact, Russell and America, and all that. Raj Singh says, hey, you look good out there, but then Gujar didn't want anything to do with him. I don't know what's up. I don't know if he trust. I'm going to trust Raj, Raj Singh or what. There's something. There's got to be some issues going on in between there. Uh, unbelievable. And uh, so there's that. Caleb was talking to the inspiration. Inspiration, did you show? Uh, did, we, did you like the pictures we sent you? And you know, you know he's trying to be never so You take a picture of us, and on your phone, and then Madison Ray interrupts. Looks like um, the influence and the inspiration may be going at it again. So a lot of mind games are going to be going. Been playing around with the influence. Poor Caleb with a K. I don't know what to do with the switch around. We scream my head off. So you ladies, leave me alone. You guys fight it out. And then the Bullet Club. Led by Switchblade Jay White, Chris and Chris Bay, and the G.O.D. Uh, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa, uh, Tonga Loa uh, addressed the Impact Zone about wanting to take over and wanting to become the Impact Tag Team Champions, the Gorillas of Destiny. And then the, the VBD interrupts and he says, "You're no group. We're a family. Good brothers. Come out." Starts running their mouths already. And then after. After the words were exchanged, no brawls happened. Um, John the Gresham was attacked backstage. We don't know who attacked him. What, what did Honor No More have to do anything with it or what? We don't know. And then GM Miller interviewed Mike Cardone. He says, this is my lifelong dream. I want to be a Disney Old Media World Champion. I started this whole thing. I started, you know, doing YouTubes. And if it hadn't happened for me, none of these other, you know, in other YouTubers, wrestling YouTubers and all that would uh, be around and all that good stuff. So doing vlogs and, and whatnot. So, so does that. Matt Taven and Mike Bennett of Arnold and Lamore, the OGK, um, uh, uh, took on Rhino and Witch Swan and Lodge and Maria Canellas Bennett joined uh, Hannafan and Raidwall in commentary. Meanwhile, the shenanigans outside the ring uh, caused the referee to kick both PCO and Vincent and Saban, uh, Chris Saban and Eddie Edwards out from ringside. And then Taven and Bennett won the matchup. Kerry Silken, the, the owner of Ring of Honor, was at ringside. He's like, what are you guys doing? Blah, 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 blah. And then Matt Taven tried to attack him. And then Steve Macklin attacked Taven. And all heck broke loose. And then Ian Riccoboni, Bobby Cruz, and Silken were talking. asking him, right? And then when Macklin jumped in, he said, hey, you're, you're the guy. We like you. And all that. And then Tim, and then... And Rick Abani says, guys, I recommend this guy for Team Impact. He's good. He made it hot popular. And all that. Chris Saban goes, what, what choice do we have? He's in. And so Steve Macklin has been joined Team Impact. Um, before the Impact uh, show, Giselle, um, Lady Frost did win a matchup. And then Giselle Shaw came out, the quintessential diva, upstage Lady Frost. And GM Miller interviewed Giselle Shaw. And she says, next week I'll make my in-ring debut. Hot and started dissing GM Miller and all that. The main event, the no disqualification match, Brian Myers versus uh, W. Morrissey. Uh, Morrissey didn't end up winning the matchup, but Moose attacked him from behind, attacked him with a steel chair. This ought to be something. All right, you know, I've always liked to talk about, just like my Forbidden Door um, event center, so to speak, the Impact Event Center. We'll talk about MLW Fusion. Hammerstone did retain his MLW World Heavyweight Championship. Richard Holiday, who is one um, one uh, partner's of him with I'm friends with him with the part of the dynasty was Hammerstone, Richard Holiday, and current AEW superstar Maxwell Jacob Freeman, aka MJF. And I will tell you why, including him in a minute. And uh, so Alicia, too, who's one of the best female interviewers for MLW, decided to grab a mic. And somehow the mic wasn't working and all that. And then as she was about to go, thinking about um, fixing the mic, she low blowed Hammerstone with the mic. I'm like, now, Alicia, too, is not a wrestler, and, you know, she, you know, can be a little mousy at times, but now, it's like this whole new side of her came out when she low blow Hammerstone. Richard Holiday attacks her from behind and says, it was me all along. I'm the, the sole proprietor of the dynasty. When you get, when you get MJF to go, what the F, dude, on Twitter, then you've really done something. Look at Richard Holiday as really... And I decided to keep 
uh, talk to him in his character mode, saying, listen, MJF basically created the dynasty, and you tell him to stay out of it? Watch your step, Mr. Holiday. I try to be respectful. Watch your step. And all of a sudden, him and Alicia Atoot made out. I was like, what is going on? It was crazy. So Alicia too got to give her props for that, and it's gonna be some. It's gonna be very interesting now that Richard Holiday and Alicia too are now a couple, and she is beautiful, and no doubt. And Richard Holiday very smart. I think Richard Holiday knows that he wants to be the MLW World Heavyweight Champ. He'll do whatever it takes to get there, including getting a little bit of help from Alicia too. So that's gonna be very interesting to see what happens between Richard Holiday, the most marketable Richard Holiday, and Hammerstone down. Down the road, it's gonna be very interesting. What's gonna happen? I thought, I thought, because I talked about a little bit about the last night rant and rave. So, and somewhere, Selena De La Renta is smiling at this. She's like, "That's my girl. You know how to break rules." So, there you go. So, that's gonna be crazy tonight. AEW Rampage SmackDown 205 Live, and not only that. Um, not only that. Uh, Not only that, I got some high rollers to do and all that good stuff. So, that's all the time we have on this show, February the 11th, 2022. I've got the um, 1.02 p.m. So, I will see you on the next episode. Peace, love, God's blessings from him above, from me to you. And I will see you on the next episode, episode 959 of the show. See ya. Goodbye for now.